All right, we are recording everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I see we have a very international group today. We have Denmark, South Africa, India, uh, Virginia, South Africa, Syria, Nigeria, India, London, Lesotho. We have all the continents, Singapore. Well, that's, that's very far. Botswana, India, South Africa, Lesotho, Hungary, Cyprus, Sri Lanka. Very, very international today. Everybody, thanks for joining. Um, Belgium, of course, Belgium. Hey, Robert, how are you? So welcome, everybody. So this episode is sponsored by Black Coffee, No Sugar. Uh, and today we will talk about, yeah, I see Miklos has the same sponsor. Black Coffee too? Yeah. Cool. So uh, yeah, today we will talk Daisy, of course. What else? Um, so, and my name is Eugene. I am streaming live, live out of Germany. And my wingman, Miklos, he's from Hungary. So he will help us with the waiting room. So we are more than 60 people. Uh, and I think we can get to 70 or 80 even. So, and today we'll talk about Daisy and Endotech because uh, Daisy would not exist without Endotech, right? Because we are, as a Daisy community, we are crowdfunding Endotech which is a fintech company that I will talk about. And um, often people ask me, so why are you so pumped about Daisy? Why do you call it the Holy Grail? Right? Because this is a big, big word. And I'm typically not that type of guy. And you know, I'm not hyping things. I'm a very down to earth, not very emotional. Uh, I, I'm only talking based on, on facts, on data. So, and it's often very hard for me to transport this excitement, you know, to, to get people uh, excited, to get people inspired. So, and today I would like to do it my way. So I would like to present you to you Daisy and Endotech my way, uh, this very technical, very dry uh, type of uh, presentation. And let's see if you guys like it. And I would like to start by uh, telling you what I'm looking at when choosing a a business opportunity. And um, this is typically things like, uh, let me let me start the slide. So, so I basically ask myself, what, what do I think is a solid business model, right? Because this is the most important. Um, and uh, typically I ask myself, what is the source of income, right? So this is the question number one I always have. And then who are the founders and are they transparent? What do we know about the founders, right? Because uh, people do business with people, people don't do business with companies. So that's why we want to know who the people are. Can we trust them? Are they transparent, right? This is uh, an important item. And then as far as income, if this is a opportunity with passive income, so the question should be is, uh, are the income claims realistic? So whatever we see in the dashboard, whatever we earn uh, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, is this realistic, all right? And then as far as the financials, who has the control over the financials, over our money, right? So is there a chance that those people who have control over the financials can steal our funds, can just run away with our money, right? So this is probably the number one thing that people ask themselves if they join especially passive income opportunities and is the business model transparent, right? So those are the items I'm looking at and I will discuss them all one by one. So there's one more item that many people look at. This is uh, regulatory approvals. This is licensing. So I'm not looking at those things. Uh, I want to be open and honest with you guys. I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at things like reg regulatory approvals and I can tell you why, because uh, last year, uh, we all saw how FTX collapsed, right? And I think you guys all heard about it. And I hope you didn't lose any money on FTX. But you know what? This business was fully regulated. It was, it had all the licensing, right? It was even endorsed by the US government. It was, it was endorsed by the World Economic Forum. You know, it was on the website of the World Economic Forum. And you guys know what happened, right? You know what happened and the end the end game you know the end result of the whole thing was 
that those people who were behind FTX, they now have all our personal data, right? They have all our records and they can do bad things with our personal data right now, right? Why do they have all that data? Because they had KYC, because they had AML and things like this. So, so the end result is that those people, those people with bad intentions now have all our personal data. So that's why uh, regulatory approvals, licensing, this is not an item for me, but if it's an item for you guys, bear with me, bear with me for half an hour and uh, I, will, uh, I will tell you something that will make you happy. If this is an important item for you, uh, you will love to hear what I have to say in um, 30 minutes. All right, so how is the income being generated, right? So, and the income is being ge generated by a company, right? This is a company that has been successfully developing algorithmic investment strategies for more than 10 years. It has a lasting positive track record and a long track record of 10 years. And it, it has partnered up with the largest exchanges, with the largest crypto exchanges in the world. And it serves hundreds uh, of thousands of clients and institutions around the world. So, and we all know the name of this company, right? The name of this company is Endotech. And Endotech is the leader uh, in the space of algo trading. So algo stands for algorithmic trading. And it was founded back in 2012. And it was the first solution that has provided cloud software in the field of automated trading. So uh, we often call that company SaaS, S-A-A-S. Uh, service, service as a, no, uh, software as a service, right? So this is how, how I would define Endotech, right? And um, what does Endotech actually do? So um, they use uh, trading, they develop trading strategies that rely on artificial intelligence. And I often say artificial intelligence, this is a marketing term that is being used everywhere now, right? We have ChatGPT, that's a AI language model, that's an AI bot, and it's growing fast. It's growing faster than Facebook, than Google, than anything else. So artificial intelligence is the new thing. But what is it actually? Artificial intelligence is pretty much um, uh, coming up with decisions based on data research and data analysis, right? This is nothing else than that. It's just data processing, data analysis, and then using data to, to come up with decisions, with good decisions, with the right decisions that will help us, in the case of Endotech, do the right trades, in the case of ChatGPT, uh, finding the right information on the internet, on Google, and so on. So this is what artificial intelligence is. Uh, and artificial intelligence, or those algorithms, they can process a lot more data than we can as humans, right? So they don't they don't get tired, you know. They don't have emotions. Emotions is something that uh, uh, is is a bad thing in trading, right? Because you want to be very data driven. You don't want to be emotional. You don't want you don't want to be greedy. And algorithms are not greedy and not emotional. So that's why they can be so successful. And the results of Endotech has been just amazing. And, uh, and the algorithms are constantly evolving and the Endotech's profitability indicators are improving every year. And uh, if you go to the official Endotech website, which is endotech.io, uh, you will find those algorithmic strategies. They have 21 strategies by now, and you guys can uh, check them out on the website. And you can even go to the trade section and see all the trades. So this algorithm here, uh, this is called 4H XRP Alpha. So if you invested ten thousand uh, dollars five years ago, uh, today you would have more than one million that you can uh, take out, right? So an XRP, this is one of the top five cryptos. Uh, it's it's now all over the news, uh, right? You know why? Uh, they have a uh, conflict with the SEC, with the US regulators, uh, but it looks like um, 
the resolution will, will, will happen soon. That's why XRP is pumping. And this is one of the oldest crypto. I think it was launched 2012, even earlier than Ethereum. So uh, if you had invested into this tra trading strategy five years ago, um, you would have made 100x on your investment, right? So your 10,000 would have turned into, which is crazy. Um, and you guys can go to the website, you can go to the strategy and you can look at all the historical trades. So, and and um, you can verify those trades, right? You can find them on chain. Uh, you can, you can uh, yeah, you can pretty much verify all trades. And there's people that go to the website and do that actually, right? So I know people who, who've done that. Uh, and, um, but um, those trades are being published with a 24 hours delay to avoid copying because there's people who pay for those algorithms and yeah, giving them out for free will not, uh, yeah, will not help. All right. Oh, someone started painting here. Uh, let me do the following. I will deactivate painting for you guys. Yeah, I know you did it by mistake, but nevertheless. Okay. All right. So, and I mentioned that uh, the biggest exchanges have partnered up with, uh, with Endotech. And what you see here is the website of Binance. So if you guys go to binance.com uh, slash link, you will you will be guided to the Binance Link program. This is a program where trading platforms can connect with Binance uh, using API, using the um, interface and can carry out uh, trades on the platform. And if you go to Gemini, um, I forgot the URL, Gemini something. Uh, if you go to the section, to the partnership section, you will also find Endotech there. Um, and actually on the Endotech website, if you go to the section partners, you will see all the exchanges, all the brokers that Daisy is, uh, that Endotech is partnering up with. You will see Binance there, Gemini, Kraken, Bit, Bitfinex, Coinbase. Um, you will find one of the oldest uh, brokerage firm, which is Interactive Brokers. And down below, you will see the network partners and Daisy is listed there um, as well. All right, so, and uh, the media, the media is talking about Endotech. If you look at, at this at this selection of um, news outlets, you know, this is big news outlets like Forbes, like NASDAQ, like Coindesk, they all covered Endotech. And um, there's also news outlets that feature articles written by the founders uh, of Endotech. And we'll talk about the founders as well, uh, because this is an important uh, item, and this is one of my my criteria when looking at a business opportunity. So, are the founders transparent? So let's first look at the founders of Endotech, because there's also founders of Daisy, right? So let's talk at the founders of Endotech first. Um, let me cover Dr. Anna Becker. I think we all know who that is by now she was also on stage in dubai she she has done a wonderful presentation about ai uh, and she has developed more than 20 working ai systems that serve as a basis for trading in more than 150 investment companies uh, all over the world in the us in europe and asia and um, the deep learning algorithms manage more than 1 billion in capital, right? So, and, and she's a genius in, in mathematics, by the way, because she developed a two-fold approximation algorithm that is still being used today. And she has done it at an age of 20 years. Uh, she was also a member of the Financial Commission. Uh, this is a commission that is dealing with uh, disputes between traders and brokers. So they are pretty much combating fraud in financial markets. So not only she has a strong um, technological background, because she also has a degree from the uh, Technion University, a degree in artificial intelligence. She also has a lot of background uh, as far as compliance and regulations, right? And um, yeah, she not only she's a 
technological expert. She's also a uh, entrepreneur because she founded the company Strategy Runner. This is a, a trading platform that she has sold to MF Global. Um, MF Global is one of the world's largest broker uh, in the world. So she she sold uh, Strategy Runner at 3.75 million to MF Global. So a very, very strong background in AI, technology, compliance. Uh, and she's a businesswoman too, right? So the second founder, he is um, the COO. His name is Dmitry Gushin, and uh, he's managing the, the complex operational processes of the company. So he makes sure that uh, yeah, things get done in the company. And uh, he is a master of astrophysics from the same university like Anna from Tel Aviv. And he has 20 years of experience in scaling financial technology companies. So, and, and he's a chess grandmaster. So this really tells you that he's a strategic thinker, uh, which you need to be, which you have to be uh, in this highly technological space. You have to think uh, two, three, four, five steps ahead. And yeah, chess players typically, are typically good at that, right? Because you need to think strategic. You need to think yeah, a few steps ahead. And obviously he is good in that. And he also owns patents in the field of wireless technologies. So he is, he's a businessman too, right? He's an entrepreneur and um, they have founded uh, Endotech back in 2012 uh, with a deposit of $1 million. So, so we have a company, we have a fintech company that has a strong and long track record. You know, artificial intelligence is not that that old, right? Uh, and Endotech has been operating in this field for 10 years already. We, we see now things like GP, um, GPT uh, coming out, right? And Endotech was doing AI 10 years ago. Can you guys imagine? So this is very, very impressive. So uh, switching gears from Endotech to Daisy, because Endotech uh, only allows institutional investors, accredited investors to join their algorithms. And an accredited investor is someone who has at least $1 million in net worth or is earning uh, $200,000 net income year on year uh, in three consecutive years. So this is how you define an accredited investor. So, and only those people can join Endotech directly, right? And the minimum to, to join those algorithmic um, uh, trading strategies is $125,000. So, and in order to give access to retail members or retail participants, I'm avoiding the word investors on purpose, but soon we will be able to, to use that word too. So in order to allow uh, regular people like you and I to invest uh, or to participate, excuse me, to participate in those algorithms, a separate entity was established. And this separate entity is called DAISY. So what is DAISY? So DAISY, this is the official definition but we will break it down into pieces in a few moments. So DAISY is a decentralized equity crowdfunding project on the blockchain, 100% built, oh, there is a typo, 100% 100% built on smart contracts. So crowdfunders receive equity in endotech uh, and real-time trading rewards from the AI trading, right? So this is what uh, the official definition is. And, um, Talking about founders, this is this was one of the items that we we started this webinar with. Can we trust the founders? Are the founders transparent? So there is founders of Endotech, uh, Dr. Anna and Dmitri, and there's also founders of uh, Daisy. Since Daisy is a smart contract, it's a decentralized uh, business. There is no CEO, there is no COO, CMO, whatever. There is no physical office. There is no, um, yeah, buildings, right? That's why we call them uh, founders, 
or creators. Creators would be a better term, actually. So, and this is those three gentlemen that you see in front of you. Uh, this is Jeremy Roma, Edward Kemchan, and Julian Manin. So, uh, and they are real people, right? Uh, you can uh, you can talk to them. You can even touch them. If you were at Dubai event um, back in February, you could have gone up to the to the stage and could have talked to them. You know, shake their hands, and they uh, openly communicate with us. Uh, by the way, the next big call will be on Saturday, in two days from now, on the first of April. So please make sure you guys join. Uh, because we are, we're expecting a lot of exciting updates. Uh, to join this call, just go to daisycrowd.com to find the link. So yes, they are open, they're transparent, even in hard times. You know, we had some hard times during uh, the bad performance of crypto, right? Even then, we had regular updates. They came out and talked to us, gave us updates, explained uh, why the crypto algorithms, algorithms are struggling. So they were really transparent and really open, not hiding from us um, in difficult times. So DAISY is a crowdfunding model. So what we do with DAISY, we pretty much help Endotech to take their AI to the next level, to develop the AI 2.0, um, the super intelligence. Some people call it the super intelligence. So, so we collect funding, so, so crowdfunding is pretty much a method of acquiring funds to support the expansion and advancement of a project by gathering contributions from a wide range of individuals. So many people are contributing a little, you know, like meanwhile, we are 195,000, I think. So everyone contributes a bit and this accumulates to, to, yeah, to a big amount, more than 4 million, Meanwhile, I think it's 4.4 million that, that Endotech has received to develop the, the algorithms. And by contributing to, to this crowdfunding platform, we get rewarded with uh, equity shares. So starting with tier five, uh, tier three, excuse me, you will get one share in a pool, in a 5% global pool, right? So, um, and we can start as low as $200. So the first tier is $100, 50% will go with trading. Um, but when we join, we buy uh, tier one in crypto and tier one in Forex. So that's why we have to spend $200 to join. And yeah, we also have to pay the, blo uh, to pay the blockchain fee, um, which is around, well, what does it mean? Well, 600, 700 TRX. Well, the blockchain fee got cheaper recently because uh, the SEC is trying to, to crack down on Tron and that made Tron tank a bit, which is, uh, yeah, which, which is good for us because the, the blockchain fee has gone down. So on tier one, we spend $200 because we, we do crypto and Forex and then tier two will be 200. And then with every tier, the price will double. And starting with tier three, 70% will go into trading instead of 50. And then tier four uh, will be $800 and 70% will go into trading. And we get two, two shares. So, and the number of shares will double with every tier. And uh, once you, you reach tier three, you will be eligible to buy a so-called momentum pack. And this momentum pack will be valid until the end of May. And um, the special thing about momentum packs is that 90% uh, will go into trading. So this way you can really optimize your trading volume, right? Um, so what you can do is you buy a regular tier and then you, you'll be eligible to buy one momentum tier. Uh, and then you move to tier four. On tier four, you will be able to buy one regular tier and one momentum tier. So your average in trading will be 80%. Regular package, 70%. Momentum package, 90%. The average is 80. And then once you reach to tier five, this will make you eligible to buy as many momentum packs as you want. So you can buy as many tier five momentum packs as you want. 
So, and this really, really helps you to increase your exposure to, to trading. And this is only possible on the Forex side of things, right? Um, yeah, this is important to mention. All right, so now that we talked about the business model um, and we talked about the founders, so let's talk about the income claims, right? Are those realistic? Because we have seen, um, well, some people will call it crazy numbers, right? Because uh, Forex has launched back in April, so pretty much a year ago. I think on Monday, it will be exactly one year. And Forex has done almost 800%. So if people from the outside hear that, they, they see that number. So the first thing they will say, oh my God, this is not realistic. What type of business is this? That cannot be legit, right? This is just too big or too good, too good to be true, right? So this is what people from the outside think. Uh, and that's why if you guys post those things on the internet, please make sure to add a disclaimer, right? because uh, this number takes into account the compound interest. And um, the special thing with DAISY is that compounding is happening with every trade. So we are not compounding on a monthly basis, on a weekly basis, on a daily basis. You will see that with many of our pl platforms, they would compound, yeah, on a certain, during a certain cutoff, right? But here, compounding is happening with every trade, right? Whenever there is a positive trade, the balance will increase and um, the trading will happen with the new balance, right? So I call it auto compounding. So compounding is happening uh, on an ongoing basis automatically. So, and, um, and again, this sounds big, 800% sounds big, but let's break it down to non-compounded figures, um, if you look at the non-compounded, the weekly average uh, will be approximately 4.4%. Uh, so we had weeks with 11%, with 9%. Uh, I think the lowest was 1.5%. Last week was uh, 2.4. Um, so the average was pretty much 4.4. And it's pretty much impossible to calculate the exact number because we are not compounding on a weekly basis. Uh, it's auto compounding, but um, if you take profit every week, you will have approximately 4.4% on average every week since since the inception of um, Daisy Forex, right? And the monthly average, uh, I will have to guess something around 20, maybe 19 meanwhile. So December was a strong month with 31 and uh, yeah, I think the lowest was February with 11%. So if you look at these numbers now, uh, it looks more realistic, right? I mean, the 800 is realistic too because uh, people not always understand the power of compounding. So, uh, but if you look at the non-compounding, non-compounded profits, uh, this is uh, making more sense to people. All right, so let's talk about Forex financials. Um, so there was an article released where it was explained why DAISY cannot be a, a pyramid scheme, right? Because one of the characteristics of a pyramid scheme is that it cannot pay out more than it has received in contributions, right? So, so we are looking at uh, Forex right now, and the total contribution was 164 plus the, the 30 million from, uh, from crypto, so this is 194 million. And the current balance, everybody, the current balance is as twice as big as the initial contributions, right? So there is no way this can be a Ponzi because they have generated uh, as much profit as uh, people contributed. So pretty much doubled the, the balance, right? Um, and more than 92 million were already withdrawn. So this pretty much tells me that, I don't know, like 40, 
45% are compounding. So let me know in the chat if, if my math was right. But um, it looks like, like the level of trust in, in DAISY is pretty high because almost 50% of people are compounding, right? And um, on the 4th of April, the performance fee will be paid on all accounts. So this will be the mandatory performance fee payment. So, and um, yeah, people with large organizations with large teams, they will get a big paycheck because the 30% will be deducted regardless uh, if you compound or not, if you take profit or not, right? Because every six months, this is what happens. There will be a mandatory performance fee uh, deduction. So Endotech gets, um, yeah, gets paid and also all the affiliate partners who build big structures. So be aware of that because on Monday you might see, uh, well, if you're a passive contributor, you might see a payment that you have not authorized. And if you were a builder, you might see a big paycheck. Uh, you, you might see a big unilevel bonus, right? So um, I mentioned crypto and crypto is very volatile. So, and this is also one of the um, characteristics or one of the indicators that tells us that DAISY cannot be a Ponzi because uh, they publish negative results. Why would the Ponzi publish negative results, right? I mean, oh, why, yeah, why would it? Because uh, they will lose members, but uh, DAISY is real. DAISY is publishing the real results in the back office. So that's why you will see up and downs in crypto. Um, well, the, the last three days were, were, were not bad at all, like two, 3% per day. Uh, while Forex was flat yesterday and crypto was 3% up. So there is up and downs on crypto. It's very volatile, but it has a lot of upside potential. And um, the founders or the creators, they're not hiding those negative results, right? You go to the back office, you will see every detail. All right. So I mentioned that, other, that I will have some good um, news or some positive, well, some, let me say just some information for people who would like to see a fully regulated and licensed business, right? Because so far, DAISY is a smart contract. Uh, it's a decentralized business. Uh, and in future, it will remain, it will remain being uh, a smart contract, a decentralized business. But on top of that, we will see some regulatory approvals and some licensing. So you will have two layers of well, I don't want to say security because smart contract is security, yes, but uh, regulatory approvals, to me, it means nothing, but uh, obviously there's a lot of people that want to see that, especially institutions, right? Institutions want to see re a regulated environment before they invest money, right? So the plan is to migrate to a fully licensed hedge fund by the 1st of June and the existing ELGOS, they will continue uh, working because many people ask, will the profitability change? Well, we don't know, but we know that the same algos will continue working and uh, there will be no new endotech equity released. So if you want endotech equity, you have to join now. You have to join before end of May and the official testing and development phase will end um, on the 31st of May. This is the, the date they have communicated. Uh, will they stick to that date? Uh, we don't know, but this is the, the plan. Um, and trading rewards will continue to be paid on the old model, well, also on the new model. And then the referral plan on the new model will also continue. On the new model, we will do KYC. Since this is a regulated environment, we have to do KYC. And then the endotech IPO is still on track. Um, that will likely happen in 24, 25. All right. So the next item, as far as security, who has control over our financials? So, and the answer is nobody. There is no human that controls the funds. This is a computer. This is a computer algorithm designed to generate, to manage, to and provide information about the ownership of something. So the smart contract is distributing all the funds and it guarantees uh, transparency and it guarantees the, the movement of money strictly uh, in accordance uh, with the established rules. So once the rules are established uh, on the smart contract, they cannot be changed. 
and when you hit the withdrawal button, uh, everything will be done by the smart contract and the smart contract will automatically deduct the 30% commission, 15% goes to the endotech, uh, to, to endotech and 15% goes to the compensation plan. So this is all done by a smart contract. No human error uh, can happen here. And you guys know why businesses fail. Typically they fail because of the human behavior, because of greed, because of not being reliable and diligent, right? Being emotional many times. So smart contracts are not emotional. They don't make mistakes, right? So, and the entire days and endotech system works by using smart contracts. So there's one main smart contract and there is, uh, yeah, many, I wanna say many, but I think 20 proxy, proxy contracts that help uh, to allocate all the funds automatically and distribute those funds uh, automatically as well. All right, so, um, and I think you can, answer this question yourself. Can the founders take our money? Can they steal our funds? Um, well, smart contracts cannot be changed. So after the rules of the smart contracts were established and implemented, nobody can change the rules and not even the founders can manage the financials, right? They cannot touch the financials, right? So, and this is the level of security we want to have. And with the hedge fund, we will have regulations on top, uh, which many people want to see. Um, so, and this will make our holy grail even better. And as far as transparency, uh, you can see, you can see everything that happens in DAISY on TronScan, right? So TronScan, that's the blockchain explorer of the Tron blockchain. And here you will see all the data. So if you know how to navigate for Tron scan, you will be able to see uh, where your money went to, how it was distributed. You will see how the 30% went to the compensation plan, the 70% went into trading. Uh, if you know how to read those contracts, you, you can find a lot of information. Uh, so many people, uh, find me online saying, oh, I don't have a sponsor. I cannot get hold of him or, or her. Um, all I need is uh, his or her username and I will tell exactly where this person is sitting, who the sponsor is. So you will find all the structure. You will find a lot of data if you know how to navigate uh, TronScan. So, and uh, to join DAISY, we use TronLink. This is one of the recommended wallets. That's, well, that's actually the main wallet that you recommend to, to join DAISY. That's not my favorite. I wanna be, I wanna tell that upfront. My favorite is Token Pocket, but uh, yes, you can use TronLink. Um, and this is how the smart contract is set up. So people have their personal wallets. It can be TronLink, Token Pocket, what else can it be? Clever, uh, trust wallet if you're an Android user. And yes, you contribute to DAISY and then DAISY or the smart contract behind DAISY will distribute the funds, the funds to trading, to the AI development, uh, to the compensation plan. And then once AI, the AI has generated some income, it will return the money back to the smart contract and the smart contract will pay it to the contributors, to the individual wallets. Yes, this is an important disclaimer. Today, DAISY is not an investment project. Uh, it's, it's a crowdfunding business model on the blockchain, fully uh, decentralized. And you can participate in crowdfunding and in case of successful trading, receive a reward. And trading is, is a high risk. So we are in a high risk, high return uh, space. So, and um, past performance doesn't guarantee future results. So be, be aware of that. And also when introducing DAISY to people, please always mention this disclaimer. So to join DAISY, 
uh, it's uh, it takes you 15 minutes. It's as easy as one, two, three. So you just create your Tronlink wallet. And um, when creating your wallet, guys, well, I, I don't think I have to say that, but I will I will do it anyway. There might be people who are not aware of that, but um, if you see the 12 seed words popping up, don't take a screenshot. You know, don't copy and paste somewhere. Just put it down on paper, right? And store it in a safe place. As soon as you create a digital uh, version of your seed phrase, it can be compromised. So be mindful of that. Uh, put it down on paper, store it in a safe place. Um, so after you created your wallet, top up your wallet with USDT, you will need 200 USDT and around 700 TRX to join DAISY. You will also need a referral link because this is a invite only business. So, and then you just buy those packages one by one. So you buy the combo pack, which is one crypto and one Forex tier. And then you go to tier two, three, four, five, and so on. And we will not have to do uh, to go for those tiers in the in the hedge fund. In the hedge fund, we will be able to go straight to the amount you want to to contribute. All right, um, good. So this is all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and now. I would like to give you the chance to ask questions. So let me check the chat. And I will also allow you guys to unmute if you want to. So. Okay, I will start with the chat. Um, can we transfer current fund to hedge fund model after 30? First of May, yes. Yeah, Doris, thanks for answering. Yeah, we can. How can we prove Daisy has been doing Forex trading? Um, yeah, so Daisy today is a crowdfunding platform. So that's why, um, and it's not an investment project, but if Daisy will start, showing us or endotech will, will start showing us uh, trading proofs and people will start posting it everywhere daisy can be considered an investment project so that's why endotech will not publish the trading results or trading proofs uh, until we have the hedge fund because with the hedge fund we will be able to call it an investment uh, project and we will be able to share all the details as far as trading. I mean, whatever they will use, MT4, MT5, they might have their own system, how to show us live trades. So yes, with the hedge fund, we will be allowed to do that. Thank you guys, amazing presentation. Yes, thank you guys, thanks for joining. Okay, how about the new hedge fund capital would probably be because the model one capital was taken from crowdfunding. Uh, let me see if I understand that. Oh, Jerry, you might want to rephrase that question. Probably because the model one capital was taken. Yeah, in the hedge fund, we will not, um, there will be no crowdfunding uh, budget set aside. So, and there will be more money going into trading, a lot more than with the crowdfunding model. I guess that's the question. Yes, because the upfront commissions will be reduced in the hedge fund model, but the back end, you know, the residual commissions, they will be increased. So we might even have just one level, uh, one commission level. And um, yeah, here's a disclaimer. I don't know how it will be, but I'm thinking that it will be a one level commission on the upfront end, on the upfront and multi-level on the back end. So we have this call on Saturday and I really hope they will give us more details. 
Um, can I set up an account for my family members? Well, in the current model, you can have as many accounts as you want. Yeah, you will not need KYC. Um, in the hedge fund model, you, you will want to set up only as many accounts as you have IDs to do the KYC. Uh, okay, when can we see audit papers? Uh, we will not be able to see the audit papers. Um, Ernst and Young will not release the, the, the audit papers. I might have missed the explanation as to what 50% and 30% parts of contribution are used on. If indeed parts of the funds are used on members' rewards, why not a reward with part of the profits made from live trading? It is common knowledge that if people are rewarded using contributions from others, that makes it a pyramid scheme. <laughs> yes. Um, so in DAISY, we know exactly which funds are being used for the compensation plan because the 50% and 30% that you mentioned, they will be deducted automatically from your contribution and uh, used for the compensation plan. So all people, as far as upfront, will be paid automatically. So the funds will be automatically distributed uh, using the smart contract. So it's very transparent. We know exactly how those commissions are being paid using which money, okay? So there is no way it can be a pyramid scheme. And then on the back end, um, out of the rewards, out of, out of the 100% rewards, 30% will go, um, will be deducted, 15% will go to endotech and 15% will be paid as residual commissions. So we know upfront where the money comes from to pay all the commissions. Okay, will there be possible at any point after becoming a hedge fund to withdraw our initial contribution? Say that you put $10,000 now and want at some point, is it possible? Yeah, so in the hedge fund, there will be a possibility to take out your principal. Well, in DAISY, we call it initial, initial contribution, but once we have the hedge fund, we can call it uh, principal, right? So, and they are looking at different models. Um, so the, all the principal will be able, you will be able to take out, um, but they're looking at different uh, lockup periods, uh, which is typical for, yeah, for investment schemes, like locking up for three, six months, and then you can take all your principal out. But uh, right now they are discussing um, how to approach that, how to do that. But yes, principle, the principle can be taken out uh, after a certain time. Uh, presentation slides, yes. I will post them in the Facebook group, in the, in the DAISY Global Maniacs group. Uh, can we join DAISY with no referral? No, it's, it's an invite only. Um, can I create multiple accounts for myself? Yes, you can. In the current model, you can. In the future model, you will not be able to. Um, will they continue paying metrics bonuses? In the new model, no. Uh, in the old model, no, because uh, the old model will pay out residual commissions, so trading rewards and residual commissions, but no new funds can be added into the old model once the new model is launched. Um, can I withdraw my investment? Yes, I covered this. In the hedge fund, you can. Usually, how long will it take to cover my investment? Um, yeah, we, we looked at the profitability indicators 
10 minutes ago. So if you compound, it can be a lot quicker, obviously. But if you don't, the average weekly result is 4.4%. So it will take you, um, well, 70% goes into trading. So you need 150%, right? Um, 150, 150 divided by 4.4. What is it? 40 weeks, is it? No, 35 weeks, maybe, if you don't compound. But if you compound, it can be a lot quicker. Yeah, but with the hedge fund, obviously the principal can be taken out. So it, there it doesn't matter. Is it possible to create a business account on the name of my enterprise? In the hedge fund, yes. In uh, the current model, uh, we are anonymous anyway. So it doesn't matter who owns the account, an enterprise or an individual. Okay. Good. Yeah, I, I reckon there is a lot of questions around the hedge fund. So that makes me think that we we ought to do a special section just discussing the new model. Um, yeah, let's see how many insights we'll get on Saturday. Um, yeah, I will prepare a presentation specifically targeting this hedge fund issue because there seems, seems to be a lot of uncertainty around that. Yes. I will do that. Okay, guys. So if there is no more questions, people are still joining. <laughs> people are still joining. We are at the end of our presentation. So I would like to thank you, everybody. Thanks for the compliment, Doris. <laughs> thank you for joining. You're my most loyal uh, visitor. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining the call. I will upload it as always and post it on the various channels on Telegram and Facebook. And uh, have a great day, everybody, and see you soon. Thank you, James. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.